Jane Foster wielded Mjolnir to become a mighty Thor, and by the end of Thor Love and Thunder, she was dead. And then in the post credit scene, she's in Valhalla. So what exactly does the future hold for mighty Thor? Well, Jane Foster herself, Natalie Portman, has a little bit of insight. Man, people really went into Thor Love and Thunder expecting Chris Hemsworth's Thor was going to die and that they were going to be pissed. And then Jane Foster died and they're still pissed. Funny how that works. But I suppose a lot of it is people didn't like her rushed character development and the retcons and whatever other reasons people are bringing up. Either way, though, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Natalie Portman talking about her optimistic return to the MCU and hopefully how she hopes that they handle elements of it. So she said, first and foremost, this is really going to be up to Marvel Studios and Taika. She doesn't really have any big ideas yet. But if she's back, she wants to once again be the interpretation of what a strong feminist character should be like. And she said that whatever they decide to do, that she trusts that Taika if he's coming back to do multiple more films, we'll find a way to bring her back somewhere down the road and that she would be open to anything really as long as it makes sense, but also that she wants to continue that tradition of being a tough girl character who people can look up to and push more feminist themes that relate to the character and her story arc. And she did address the whole passing of the torch thing from one Thor to another, aka, you know, Thor Odin's son to Mighty Thor. And she said she doesn't know what the plans are, what Marvel Studios has uh, as an idea, and what the fans want to see, because she's heard from the fans and some were worried, some were excited. But overall, whatever happens, she hopes that the fans enjoy it, that they can make it make sense, and that again, this is something for women to rally behind. So, you know, um, I guess you can kind of see what she's going for here. Again, they're going to have to deal with bringing her back from the dead. So that's kind of tough. But the way they seem to imply in the post credit scene that the afterlife slash Valhalla is some sort of almost realm you go to, I don't see why it would be hard, right? They're... You can make some sort of deal with the devil or something. They can use that element from the comics and something can happen. And we already know they had ideas to put the devil into Thor Love and Thunder as it is. So maybe they're going to do that. I mean, who knows? It's still going to be years away. But it sounds like she's very much open to returning and that there's already been some discussion, but she's just not privy to what direction they're going to go in. So, I mean, I'm assuming she's going to be back from the dead, just like some other people. I mean, look, Heimdall shows up, so he's clearly not dead. I mean, he's dead in the real world, but he's also very much alive in Valhalla's realm or whatever they end up making it. God, this is getting confusing. We've just gone to the comics now. Death is pointless. It's just, it doesn't matter anymore. 